السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس نیو کورس انٹروڈکشن ٹو لنگوسٹک لنگوسٹکس از ڈیفائنڈ ایز دی سائنٹیفک اسٹڈی آف لینگویج سو ہیئر ایف یو لک ایٹ دس ڈیفینیشن وی گیٹ ٹو ورڈس لینگویج اینڈ سائنٹیفک سو وی ہیو ٹو سی دیٹ واٹ ایکچولی لینگویج از اینڈ واٹ ایکچولی scientific is let's begin with the first word language what is language what is language this question is comparable with the question what is life they are both as complex as they seem what is the question what is life basically marks off the boundaries of the biological sciences what is life and if we look at the biologist we find that they are not concerned most of their time that what is life rather they are concerned with with any specific problem of their area they are busy doing something which concern life they are busy looking at some properties of life so they are not concerned with what is life they are concerned with the properties of life similarly a scientist is concerned with not what is science rather he is concerned with something specific to his field so when we come on to this very question what is language we find that the linguist are concerned with some properties of language they understand they study language to determine those properties those properties which are found in human languages or natural languages and not found in other languages so linguist is basically concerned with the study of language so for as the word language is concerned in our uh, in our uh, definition linguistic is the scientific study of language we find that word language is used without an indefinite article it is not a language it is language whereas we know that we do use the word a language so it's mean that uh, the both the words language and the phrase a language do have something common but they are different from each other when we look at other european languages we find that there are uh, not one word to convey the meaning rather they have two words for example if we look at the uh, french language we find that they have two words and if we look at the italian language we also find that they have two words so similarly other european languages to have two words not one word one word in general and the other word specific so uh, this tells us that uh, that uh, the uh, that when who uh, that one who possesses language one who possesses language possesses a language that is that if someone uses a language he basically possess language the faculty of language this is the faculty of language that differentiate human beings from other uh, 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 from uh, animals so we can say that one cannot possesses or use natural language without possessing or using some particular natural language so the term natural language applies to a variety of systems of communication notation or calculation without which there is room for uh, about which there is room for uh, dis- dispute so for example if we say uh, computer language if we say uh, mathematical language so do we mean the, the here that it is similar to human la- language obviously there is some room for dispute it is not the similar case they are different from each other 
So, beside these uh, notational systems, uh, we have, uh, uh, which whether they are rightly called languages or not, are artificial rather than na uh, natural, pre-existing natural languages called Esperanto. So, we have this natural, uh, pre-existing mean that it based on the natural languages. It was established back in uh, 19th century. So, we have thousands of uh, uh, distinct natural languages spoken throughout the world, uh, uh, which are specific instances of some are more general, uh, something more general, general. So, whether these natural languages have something in common, not shared by other system of communication, human or non-human, is basically the question of our present discussion that what is language, what are its properties, uh, uh, are these properties different from the uh, properties of non-human languages or languages uh, or languages made by human beings.